what's going on with you scorpio we're going to go ahead and see what's coming for the month of january i'm um, sorry february 2023 we're going to do a spread with the first um row talking about the first two weeks of this month past present and future whatever's playing out or going to be playing out and then the last row is going to be about the last two weeks of the month what's to come and then we're going to look at the action solution and your present challenge for the entire month as well so let's go ahead and tap into the energies i've already prayed and checked the cards but let's go ahead and get started divine cosmic intelligence of the universe please um, protect me while i channel the messages for scorpio allow them to see what they need to see and get the information they need to know about the matters of the heart anything that's coming for the month of february past present and future um, regarding love money career finances anything that's pending in the realm of the spirit please send your archangels Michael Gabriel Uriel to protect us and to block any negative interference with the reception of this message, these messages. Okay, so Spirit said, um, first of all, that Scorpio, spiritual transformation, this is your year for spiritual transformation, but it's going to be, you will have doors open for spiritual transformation from non-traditional sources. If you allow yourself to be receptive to those downloads from spirit. Let's go ahead and get into the tarot. See what's coming for you, Scorpio. Okay, first we have the eight of swords. Wow, what's going on? Some heavy thinking, some heavy thoughts. Trapped in your head. Something's catching you for a loop at this present moment. Heavy energy here. So we have the Justice card here. Libra energy. Scales are being balanced. Whatever you're being concerned about, whatever you're going over and over and over in your head about, Spirit is saying you can lay that sword down because justice is going to come through for you. Balance is going to be restored regarding this matter. And it might be something that's going to be happening behind the scenes that you can't control that's going to be the solution to this matter that you're worried about the page of cups is here so expect good news expect a message to come through regarding what is keeping you trapped in your head text message email from for some of you you will be getting a call from someone in the distance regarding this situation that is heavily keeping you trapped in your head um these two weeks we have a chariot card here so i see swift change swift movement this is cancer energy here you could be dealing with the libra or cancer you don't have to be but it looks like there will be some good news of some major changes some of you might even be in a position where you are being you might even be in coming into a realization that you might have to move physically like a move from a house or maybe you're worried about where you're going to be moving to expect to receive some good news and some swift decision making regarding a place becoming available a place of residence take what resonates not everything's going to be your story this is a general collective reading so certain things aren't going to matter are going to be relevant for everyone um there's also an ace of pentacles here that's definitely good i feel like there's a lot of economical type things scorpio that you're concerned about there's some changes economically whether it's a workplace um, new opportunities in business or like i said something to do with your household having to move or find a place to live some of you also own property or you might have a rental place where you have people in there and they're not necessarily paying rent and you might have to come and, and make like a legal decision on giving them an ultimatum about you know how much longer you can allow that to happen take it how it resonates knight of cups here so i do see you um having some help the knight of cups is someone who is well ready willing and equipped to be sympathetic to your aim and help you move forward with any changes that might be coming to play i don't see you having to be alone in this matter spirit is saying you need to not be afraid to ask for help too from people if you are facing this type of situation 
or you just in general, while you're waiting for the justice and the scales to be balanced here, don't be afraid to ask the resources that you have around you for help. You're not alone. I see you have you have you have someone who is ready and willing and able to help you if you were to articulate what you need. It could be also you sending a message out to this Knight of Cups, Scorpio, in order to have your situation change quickly and swiftly. Um, so keep that in mind too as well. We have the death card here. This is about spiritual transformation. Um, if there is something keeping you trapped in your head, like this Eight of Swords here that we see first, um, I, I feel like the death, you know, this is a signifying an end to that, that mental anguish going in your head, being worried, being in like a self-imposed, woe is me, I'm trapped, I don't know what to do type of energy. And it's going to push you and catapult you through a transformation spiritually. Some of you, this is about breaking the ego of having to maybe ask or be the one to initiate asking for help or sending a message for help breaking of the ego so you can find that spiritual stability and not be afraid um there's a fear energy here within the last two weeks of your month with this death card here i'm seeing I'm hearing that you could avoid wherever you're fearful of happening by taking away your energy and not worrying about it. And if you do need to ask for help, ask for help from someone. Then you have the five of wands here. So it looks like the end of the month might be presenting itself with some a little bit of confusion. Maybe things might move a little bit too quickly here with the chariot to the five of wands. Five of wands also speak about altercation between, you know, people you work with, family members, and it's like confusion on what's being built here. So you might want to watch out for that. Make sure your communication and everything you do at your job or um, within your family dynamic that you're clear in your communication and you are knowing knowing exactly what to expect when you make a decision. Because there is this is this is speaking about moving quickly with the chariot here um, and not really thinking through decisions before moving forward with this five of wands so you definitely don't want to make a decision out of rash movement and judgment um is at the bottom of the deck with the ten of wands okay so judgment usually speaks about resurrecting people ideas things from the past um it also can talk about repeating the same cycles or having to start, make a judgment call to really just start over <laughs> It's about raising the dead and raising what is dead or going back to something that might not have served you in the past. And with this Ten of Wands here, it's almost like you do need to be careful because this it could be a lot of work to really, you've put in a lot of work to move forward and make some changes in your life only to go back into something, you know, a certain cycle here. I'm seeing. Spirit is saying you need to watch out for returning to old habits bad cycles within this month of February. Stop letting your mind get the most of you. And some, um, you know, some things that cause stress shouldn't be a trigger to go and run back to something that you gave up and you really, really made a good, bad, you know, a, a, you worked really hard to give up some type of bad habit only to go back to it. Be mindful of that. So let's see what your actions, your present challenge, and the solution is going to entail. This is for Scorpio spirit. What is the overall action going to be taken? Maintaining your stability. Reuni There's going to be a reunion even. You might be reuniting with someone from your past. Maybe this person that you might be asking to help you through this situation. Or maybe this is you communicating with old family members but i do see stability here the eight of swords to the ace of pentacles to the four of wands it's like your breakthrough and your new opportunities are right around the corner and may, they might even be presenting themselves to you in this present moment but 
maybe you're blocking it mentally with this eight of swords and not being able to really see that this opportunity can actually provide you with stability. There is an offering coming here with this Ace of Pentacles. And if you don't get out of the Eight of Swords energy, you might miss the opportunity of seeing that your stability can come from this situation. It might even come from someone from your past offering you something that you didn't know that can cause you stability. You have the Six of Swords here. So yeah, you might... This is moving on to calmer waters, actually moving forward. But in this deck, it's interesting, it, you know, the boat is going back, to, it's going backwards, but it's going towards the four of wands. So I, I see you moving towards your stability. After you get this frame of justice, after you maintain this balance in your life, which we see here, you get through this karmic lesson. I see you moving towards the help this Knight of Cups, this person that can help you. Again, I do see a physical movement, maybe a different place of residence with the Four of Wands. But ultimately, for most of you, this is you moving forward to your stability, to these new opportunities, opening your eyes to see where it's probably best for you to navigate through. You have a double card here as your challenge. Again, if there is like, you've done a lot of shadow work. You've you've got you've put away things that ha don't serve you. I don't want to say addictions or anything like that. But that's the present challenge. Just remember, I was just saying. You've worked hard. You don't want to go back into that same cycle of whatever it was that you gave up because it wasn't profiting you. It, look, I mean, this is the present challenge of the month. The overall challenge is the devil card on top of the death. You're fearful that you can end up going back to that same old thing, that same old routine, that same bad habit, whatever it is. You don't have to hold on to those chains of bondage. And a lot of it is mental. It is mental. All of it is. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the sun card here, heavy Leo energy. So it's just like... Your happiness is right around the corner. Your happiness is just waiting for you, for you to make the decision to see the opportunities that you do have coming. Because with this Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups here in the second week of, um, third and fourth week of February, the opportunity is right around the corner. Major changes coming swiftly. So let's see. Okay, we have Five of Swords. And this is going against the five of wands. So exactly. Be mindful of not making rash decisions based off of being confused about anything. You want to be clear on what's being built, what's being made here. Uh, you also want to be clear with who you're dealing with. You don't want to be dealing with anybody spiteful or anybody who's just trying to get over on you. To do stuff and get stuff out of you behind your back. Watch out for stuff moving too quickly and progressing too quickly here with this chariot card with the five of wands with the five of swords. But again, this is all saying major changes. Fives are, is an action number. It's a, act, it's a number of major change. But you have two out here, which is also signifying an ending. So I do see you moving to a new place. And, I, and not only physically, but mentally too, you might have to adjust your perspective to avoid some confusion these last two weeks let's clarify some of these cards you have a full card with the uh, four of pentacles with the two of pentacles underneath the deck here pending right now so just be careful because you don't want to be put in this position where you feel like you're being made a fool up because you made a bad decision or you failed to make a decision without having all the information first so I do want to know, okay, why is the Four of Wands out here with the Six of Swords as action? That's another set of ten here. You have two tens out here, two fives. So there's a lot of endings. You might be cutting a lot of um, people out of your life, making a lot of changes, but also reuniting with someone from your past. But why is the Four of Wands here, Spirit? What is this for Scorpio? Queen of Pentacles stability someone solid coming into your life 
or this is your energy, you really finding your own peace of mind, your own stability with what you can, you know, manifest through this new job, through this new residence. Maybe you reuniting with someone from your past with this four of wands and moving on will require, like you said, like I said, cutting people off, leaving someone out in the cold. Somebody also needs to be mindful of their health from this time. Pay attention to your health and those around you as well. But why is the devil here as a present challenge? I think we have an idea of pretty much why, but let's go ahead and see what Spirit says as far as clarifying this card. Why is the devil out here for Scorpio as a present challenge, overall challenge for February? Five of Swords again. You can't make this stuff up. This is a whole nother deck clarifying. Five of Swords with the Five of Swords. The message is the same. It's the clear. This is the law of synchronicity. This is how this stuff works. I hate it when people say, I don't believe in the power of tarot cards. It's really not that. What it is, is that it, you're operating off of a spiritual law of synchronicity. Just like you're not here by mistake. You're not here on this earth. You know how big this universe is? And you think that we're just here in it randomly like by chance the universe is vast there's multi-universes nothing is by just chance this is the law of synchronicity that the universe operates under so here you know it's reiterating five of swords to the five of swords be careful for people you know trying to get over on you regarding moving too quickly without having all the information first be careful of people trying to spite you or just come back into your life and give you false hope too. You don't want to put all your eggs in one basket and then it just fall through, especially if you're going to be in a vulnerable position in life in general, like moving somewhere or having to find a place or um, dealing with going back to, you know, that thing that didn't serve you, that thing that you finally overcame and it's trying to present itself back into your life. Or just someone in general that might be connected to these bad habits that you had just trying to come back into your space around you know this is for the last two weeks in the month if you are dealing with somebody like that trying to come back into your life and you know they have some kind of history connected to whatever vice that you gave up whether it's overdulging in food and drink or smoking whatever it was be mindful for for this person coming back into your life only to drag you right back to the beginning eight of swords again so this is where it started excuse me for getting loud but i'm saying this this can cause you to get back in that karmic cycle be careful of this individual you think you're in your head now but the whole cycle can start over again if you allow this this spirit to interfere with what you need to be taking care of that's a lot of swords here okay that's a lot of energies thoughts power potential truths but also lies too only to have you back in circles again going back into your head because you want to choose to ignore the, the warning signs you're going to have to be strong heavy leo energy this is also here you're going to have to be strong when this person does present themselves to you around the end of this month because i do see them coming back you're going to have to make a clear judgment call they could be trying to resurrect the past with you bring back stuff from the dead page of swords is here they're also probably spying on you watching you very closely you're gonna have to remain guarded okay you're gonna have to protect your energy space and really make it clear because i feel like this person also betrayed you once before they already it's it's already been a painful ending with this individual you have clarity on it already so why you know why even allow with all the stuff you have going on out here why even worry about what this individual is trying to bring pull you back into but that's typically how this these energies work when they're here to teach us karmic lessons. When you're the most vulnerable, when you're in a position where, like you said, you, you're, you might be worried about where you're going to be living or you might be worried about the stability of your job at this point. Those are vulnerable times. And sometimes these spirits, these karmic spirits that have been assigned to our life to deal us some kind of karma or teach us some type of karmic lesson, they know when to come in and try to test us. That's part of the game. We're playing a game on Earth. 
but the spirit is saying you're gonna have to be strong and really recognize for this spirit and for some of you if this is not someone from your past coming back that you're reuniting with it could be just a different person with that same spirit that same spiritual lesson operating in that individual to pull you back into the devil energy to get you back into those same cycles of whatever you gave up that didn't serve you anymore whether it's drinking smoking um just bad habits in general lying or doing whatever cheating whatever it is this could be the same spirit operating from a new individual just be aware of new old cycles emerging again at the end of this month of february So the overall outcome, it looks like the solution is for you to be strong. Keep your eyes on anything new and promising. Keep your eyes on your passions. Your true passions, not vices. Hold on to the peace of mind that you have and also be mindful of your money and your spending. Especially if you are facing a move. And here we go with the devil again. Right, because the overall lesson, the overall thing is to conquer this karma. A, the message is just repeating itself now. Here we have the chariot again coming out. All the cards that we just already had out in the beginning are coming out as clarifiers. So this is like a major karmic lesson for you, Scorpio. And um, I think we might do, we might come back and do an extended on you. <laughs> Go ahead and subscribe to the Celestial Ship channel. That's where I do all my um, in-depth readings for those who found any part of this message resonating. And we'll pick up that particular chapter of whatever was the biggest part, which for this is this energy trying to come back at the end of February. We'll dive deeper on that. For those who find that to resonate, you can um, see that video on that channel. But I think for this reading, we're going to stop here. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Shalom.